Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Coe here and uh, welcome to my uh, monthly YouTube analytics update and uh, I'm a tad bit behind about a week, a little over a week behind on when I'm supposed to launch this, but I just been incredibly busy um, and I'll talk about in a later video on some of the big changes I've been doing in my own business and stuff like that, but I'm committed to show the statistics. So I wanted to show this right on the screen. Um, if you haven't already, um, there should be a uh, link in the description where you can see kind of the last Last few months from April to uh, August currently right now for the month of August that's just finished the growth and what what I'm doing so you can take a look here okay now I do want to talk about a couple of things okay number one I want to talk about uh, first uh, my subscribers. So for the folks, the 85 folks that I have on here, right? Um, so I had a little small growth. I want to thank you, like Joel Singh. I don't know, uh, cheapest wholesale houses. What's up, Vanti, MD, Ed Allen, uh, Phil. Um, I don't even know how to Moises. Is this Moises? Moises? I don't know, but thank you, Mr. Lopez, Kevin Yee, Richard, um, and Elias. What's up, John, Bill, um, and all these people that subscribed. If I missed your name, uh, I'm sorry, but thank you for subscribing. Making me feel uh, pretty good in terms of ego, right? That my subscribership is growing. If you're actually watching this, let me know. But that's one part. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is some interesting statistics that I'm looking at. And it's really hard because these numbers are small, right? But as you can see here, you, you can start kind of start seeing a trend. Okay. Number one thing is, yes, I am spending advertisement. All right. On Google AdWords. And what I'm spending on is literally just $2 a day, which comes out to about like 60 bucks a month. Okay. And all I'm doing is running advertisement um, in what I would like to call in-stream ads, right? So if you're watching YouTube or something like that, um, or before you start YouTube, right? The video pops up. Okay. That's what I'm actually physically uh, running ads to. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I have a theory that you can grow a pretty massive um, uh, YouTube following just strictly on paid advertisement and uh, just being consistent over and over. Now, the content in itself, I'm trying to deliver better content and stuff. But I just, again, I run multiple businesses. It's been tough. So um, I'm trying to have my team release as much as possible. But you can see here, it's $60 um, uh, um, uh, in a month that I'm doing. And check this out. Okay. Here's the analytics. Um, so this is kind of the year to date, and you can see here, obviously steady, steady, uh, steady growth uh, that you can see here. Obviously, this peak that I have is because I spent tons of money on uh, the second month on uh, YouTube, testing a bunch of stuff out, and you can see kind of the views. But really. This isn't as interesting as I saw this, right? Which is the revenue, the YouTube money, right? Because, um, and I'll talk about the third thing I want to talk about is which is haters, okay? Which is in the comment section. I love seeing this because people are literally like in the comment section, um, yeah, they assume a lot of things and uh, they don't they don't know who I am. And obviously, I don't know who I am, but they have literally, you know, keyboard, uh, keyboard, uh, uh, ad, <laughs> um, literally keyboard, uh, um, you know, they're just, they're just, they're just keyboard haters, man. Uh, have nothing better to do. Okay. Other than leaving positive comments or something like that, which is a direct reflection of who they are, but it's fine. Right. So again, look at this, you know, I'm rich, right? I'm at 79 cents on estimated revenue. Clearly, if this is my only stream of income, right, you can't really eat off this. Okay. Um, I run different businesses and I make, you know, well over, uh, seven figures actually this year, uh, my run rate should be ending up on that. So I should do really well on that. Um, um, kind of a slow start, but I'm picking up and that's why I've been really, really busy on that. Um, so we got that and you can see kind of a spike that just happened right, right here. And which is interesting is I don't really know. I got to ask my big YouTubers about this, but probably then I'm like, yeah, it's not really a big deal, which is this, this $1 ad revenue. So this one says a, a dollar. So, Ooh, big, big, wow. I can go to the dollar store. Right. But look at this playback, uh, base CPM, uh, it's $15 and $12. So my understanding is that's pretty high. And it might be due to the fact that I talk about business stuff in here. Right. So like you can see here, $27 playback CPM, there's a $75. Um, that was interesting um so stuff like that i just only wish i had more views on it right so then um i'll be actually making more money but but I thought this was interesting, especially this LA housing one, right? Because I'm because I talk about real estate. I obviously have a background in real estate, so I talk about it. But that kind of ties into uh, what I want to talk about, which is haters, right? And for anyone, if you're watching this and you're just starting off um, your YouTube channel, right, you're gonna get haters, okay? Um, and which is fine to me because I don't really never cared about what other people think um, um, to a certain extent. Um, why is because I'm very opinionated about certain stuff, and uh, um, I'm very aware. Um, I well, let me rephrase. I care, but I don't care. 
prepared, okay? And here's what I mean, okay? So um, some comments like Brooke, right? So like a video I made, a tutorial, definitely helped her out, so that was super cool. Um, I, was help, I was able to help Brooke out, so that was awesome. But then look at this, right? The Seinfeld Entertainment dude, he's like, fourth month, four views, and I'm just like, yes, and I'm super sad since I couldn't deposit views into my bank account, and I wanted to buy that Rolex, right? So I'm literally like, like being sarcastic and says, yeah, no wonder you have four views. You shouldn't try to be funny and try to make a serious marketing course. You'll be better at that, and right? And clearly, he doesn't know who I am because I do have serious marketing courses, and I charge anywhere from um, on the low end at $2,000 all the way up to $16,000 and stuff like that, right? So I charge that, and then it says um, I have four views. Um, uh, that's right. Do I have to make a marketing? Uh, um, what right do I have a marketing course? I want more views so I can more more money online. Well, you have every right to do so, and believe me, you're gonna need that. Need to find better titles. Then you won't believe how many times I peed at work before earning a couple extra bucks. Right? <laughs> I give him a thumbs up, and um, probably because at that time I was running a retarget ad into this funky, stupid video that I was doing. Right? And then I come back and I give him kind of a you know my 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 thing right and say by the way amateur marketers care about vanity matrix uh, uh matrix as views or subscribers i care about is businesses making money and the best marketers keep testing and testing right that's what i say and which is really true right like i'm testing like i'm doing this and you know down the road someone might get value out of it but i'm really testing right i'm telling this like it is right so so i'm telling this no response right so um i'll probably respond to him right now again it says um uh, i'm say checking in Checking in how much you make uh, last month. <laughs> right? I'm just, I'm just going to be a troll, troll back, right? Look at this per person, Keanu, uh, tween, um, whatever this person does, get to the point, right? He was watching one of my, are we in a bubble 2007 again, right? He didn't respond back, right? So I just responded back. Here's the short answer. No one knows and only losers search on YouTube for what the real estate market will do. <laughs> If I just say that without context, you'll be uh, like uh, like this. is not wasn't what I'm searching for. Also, anyone who searches market cycle has already a biased opinion of one direction because of the 99% of them won't make money. Um, did that point help you, right? With a smiley face. Didn't respond back. But which is true, right? If you're searching about market cycles and you're trying to watch videos on that, you're searching the wrong thing in my opinion, right? It's like surface level stuff that maybe like someone says buy a house or invest in something and they're like, well, let me check out what market it is. And you're literally trying to get op opinions from people on the internet when I clearly say in this video, I say, hey, no one knows. And to a point where um, one of the richest men in uh, this world, right, Warren Buffett, right, talks about no one knows. So, gosh, right, you can search all you want on people in real estate, but no one really knows, okay? And that's the point I was trying to make, but clearly they didn't get the point. So uh, um, I'm going to respond back and it says, hey. Hey, you get your answer. Uh, you get your answer uh, to uh, what the real estate RE market market is going to do. All right, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being a troll. Um, don't think YouTube is your forte. Sorry. Right, says that right, and so um, and being a troll on the internet isn't your uh, uh, forte. Sorry, right, that's what I put right there. Okay, on that, so I'm gonna respond back. Um, I'm gonna say, how's the trolling doing? Right. And again, I'm doing this, okay? Love the video, uh, also inspired. So thank you, Eduardo, right? Like he's leaving a legitimate comment, right, on this, right? Um, which is super cool. He probably back-end searched the video that I created on that to create traction for his uh, uh, channel, right? Which is a strategy, so awesome part on his part, right? Um, Samantha, could you, uh, you could ramp up your ads uh, that show on YouTube. I love the motivation entrepreneur type, but, you're, um, but your intro music makes me cringe so hard. Uh, maybe some marketing execs could check it out and give you tips because every time a vlog ad comes on, I'm rushing to turn it off and I usually don't mind ads. Also, the ad definitely has heightened uh, volume. Okay, sorry, you might, um, you seem like a kick-ass in ventures, just a terrible mashup ad, right? So again, it's cool. She's she's nice, right? She's giving me really good feedback on that, right? And you know what the funny thing about it is that I, and because uh, I run my own ads and I say this in here, right? And I love it because she's giving me uh, feedback on this and um, I purposely, one of the ads that I run, right? I purposely jacked up the volume. So that way it, one, obviously it's not a good user experience. So it's not the best thing to do as a marketer, but I wanted to push the envelope to see what kind of reaction you're going to get. Why is because I'm only doing it to the people who have watched my videos, right? Meaning I'm only retargeting them.
Okay, so it's really going to pop up and you're going to be like, man, this guy's annoying or they're going to be like, man, Jeff is everywhere. Right. So either way, it's a great feedback. I like that. Right. Um, Zeon uh, talked about another tutorial video on here and that says, hey, by the way, you can only change URL. So I should have probably made a better video on that. So I might make a video, a uh, better video. A uh, good friend, Kevin here. Um, was, uh, we have some couple of mutual friends and stuff like that. Um, with just kidding films. And he kind of get back and says, hey, cool. Check it out, man. You should rotate your uh, uh, video this way. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely should, you know. Um, um, and then, but the issue is I don't really edit my own video, right? So, um, which makes it really, really difficult, especially if you don't edit your own video to see uh, how you're doing, right? I don't, I just simply don't, I don't have the time of the day and it's not my forte, right? So I pay other people to do it, uh, things like that. So, um, again, he left some feedback and uh, definitely I should, I should definitely not do the rotate my phone. Like he says right here. Right. All right. And then a couple other ones. Okay. So now the point of you point of me actually making this is not only to give you the stats and hopefully it doesn't encourage anyone to do it, but also to document a lot of the stuff that's really happens. Right. And again, I'm doing this kind of on, on really goodwill and stuff like that. I'm not really trying to monetize and make money off, you know, dollar. You saw that, right? Like I'm up to a year to date money on YouTube, a dollar, right? Like I'm not gonna get rich, but what I'm doing is creating this document to show, hey, what type of energy and work it requires. And I'm just kind of using it as supplemental stuff, you know, and I'm literally in what, if you think about this on YouTube channel from April to a hey, four months in, okay, four months in. So again, I'm like, no sweat off my back. Okay, now keep in mind, all right, I, it's, it's not my first YouTube channel, okay? I've had other YouTube channel that has tremendous more views than this, okay? Um, but I'm using this one, and I'm especially using this um, by not leveraging my email list, okay? Um, because some people are always wondering, like, oh, Jeff, you know, hey, um, why do you only have that? But here, here's an example of this, right? So, um, boom. All right, so here's my uh, one of my CRMs, right? I have 241,000 people in my email content. I haven't even sent an email uh, to, about my YouTube channel to these people. If I did that, I can probably get a couple thousand subscribers and things like that, and I can probably get a couple thousand views instantly on that, and, and some of my folks uh, on here have um, been on my email list for over like 10 years, right? Like 10 years. Um, so there's some of them are really, really good friends. I know them personally and things like that, right? So again, all of this, I'm letting you guys and gals know that, hey, you know, Hey, I'm building this without leveraging all of my assets. Okay. I recommend people to leverage all of their assets, but I'm building this without it. And I'm purposefully doing this because I want to see how natural and organic growth affects when you're trying to build the kind of like a personal brand. Right. And I'm not some chick with big boobies or bo big hoo-ha, you know, showing them off and be like, yeah, you know, doing that kind of stuff or doing some weird stuff, um, uh, on the internet. I'm just like telling like it is because this is who I am. So if you were to li literally like pick up the phone and call me, I talk like this, this is me. Okay. I'm not acting. This is who I am. And to see, Hey, what lives can I touch? Who can I help out? So again, hopefully this helped. I'm getting uh, this video is uh, longer than expected, but if you get any value and you're watching this at all and you got even all the way to this end of this, right, watching 12 minutes of my life, man, thank you so much for even watching, listening to uh, my little rant and uh, uh, final thought on this, right? If you're if you're thinking about doing this and you watch this, okay, let the haters be haters and sometimes fire back at them, right? Like people say like to me, like, oh yeah, you shouldn't, um, you know, poke fun of, or you shouldn't, nah, that's not my style, you know? Like if you want people want to be a troll, I can be a douche too back, you know? Like honestly, right? And I can have a good kick and good laugh about it, you know? So, um, and then plus, you know, maybe if they come back to the video, you know, sooner or later, you know, haters will become your admirers, which I've seen um, in my other business too. So, um, and then also don't worry about what other people think. I cannot stress this enough. Please don't worry about really other what other people think. Um, because one, other people really don't, aren't even thinking about you, right? Like as you can clearly see in the number of views that, you know, you think all these thousands of people are thinking about you. No, nah, they're not, man. I'm a blip in the, you know, their, their thought, right? So again, um, they're not thinking about you. Um, so again, that's what I got. Love you guys. Take care. Keep on, um, giving value to the world and, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care and bye-bye.